Crunk and Jab Reverse Punch. All right, ready? Begin. One. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Excuse me, you have a call in the office. Take the class. Class one. Yeah. 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 Two. Hello. Natalie? Natalie Pierce. How in the hell are you? Yeah? Oh, my God. How? Okay. When? Yeah. Okay, I'll be there. Thanks. Who's gonna lend me his car? What you can do about fixing my VW down there? Yes, sir. You can tell these assholes they can pick their car up at Evergreen Cemetery. Yes, sir. Thank you.
Jerry. I'm so sorry. Jesus, Natalie. Can't even make it to his funeral on time. Even after he's dead, I keep disappointing him. Don't say that. It's the truth. He was the most understanding man I ever knew. He took me in and raised me all by himself. And what did I give him in return? A call from the sheriff's department every other weekend. Come and get me, Grandpa. I'm in trouble again. I'm sorry, Grandpa. Come with me. Hasn't changed much, has it? No, it hasn't. Looks just the way I left it. Oh. Go get my slippers, Hank. Go on, you heard me. Fetch! <laughs> but he hasn't seen you in four years. Yeah, but no dog ever forgets his master. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't forget me, boy. Good boy, hey, yeah. Ah, dessert. This is good. So? My compliments. I didn't know lawyers could cook. You're evading the question. I feel like I'm giving an affidavit. <laughs> Testimony given by Jerry Pelt in the matter of his personal life. Mr. Pelt, the question as to your current romantic situation still remains unanswered. The answer is no. No, I'm not seeing anybody. <laughs> No further questions. Okay. My witness, same question. I'm waiting. There's some unfinished business that I have to attend to before I can take my love life off hold. I was wondering when I was going to run into your ass. <laughs> Natalie, could you take him back inside, please? Hey, sorry to hear about your grandpa, man. Yeah, he was a good man. I really miss him. He's like a father to me. I see you still know all the single women in town. Who, Natalie? Yeah, she's all right. I like her. So what about you? You still barroom brawling and kicking ass? Every chance I get. How about you? You still... Fighting, got my own business. I just wish I could have got your sorry ass in the ring. But as I recall, you were never one to fight fair now, were you? Hey, what do you say we go in town and suck down a few beers, huh? It looks, smells huh. like you stuck down a few already. What if I said I didn't drink anymore? I'd say you're crazy. Because we got places to go, people to see, women to chase, and bottles to empty. Why don't you men go and be boys? It's time I left anyway. Be careful, Jerry. All right, see you later. Well, I guess she figures you're gonna corrupt me, huh? Well, I'm gonna give it every goddamn chance there is. Let's go.
champion here with us. It hey, wasn't me, man. You're famous. You may know him. Jerry Pelt. Perhaps the champion can honor us with a sample of his style. I don't want any part of this. What's wrong, bro? You scared? Kick his ass, Jerry. I'll play special. No bets. I'll fight to both of you. There's no bets. No bets. No bets. Kick his ass, Jerry.
out of here. Good old days. Good to have you back. You start work at 5 a.m.? You work 12 straight hours with absolutely no break for meals? Mm. I need to get this on tape. If you can just repeat what you already told me, I can use it to file suit. Yeah. Hey! You're trespassing! And you're breaking the law. This may come as a shock to you, but slavery was abolished over a hundred years ago. Hey, Mr. Sharperson takes real good care of all these people. He's gonna take care of you if you keep butting in. Keep talking. I don't think I've had the pleasure. Jerry Pelt. You are? Not much on manners, is he? At least you've been away. You haven't had to sit here and watch this whole county go to hell. Well, can't the Chamber of Commerce do anything? They're like most people. They're scared. You show opposition, you just might vanish. Opposition to who? Officially, I don't know. Unofficially, there's a man named Sharperson. He keeps a place here and works out of L.A. He's said to have organized crime links and tie... Nellie Pierce. Sure. When? Saturday, 12. Okay, that'll be fine. Hey, Jerry, this guy I was looking for. Well, you found me. Now, what do you want? You know, I spent half my life waiting for you to get back here. And now you're here. And you haven't been here 24 hours. And already you've stolen a car, racked up 12, I repeat, 12 separate counts of assault. Now, this is my favorite. All on the same day your grandfather was put to rest. How can he rest? The way this whole county's falling apart, he's probably turning over in his grave by now. Don't worry about the county. See, that's my job. And my job is to put you under arrest. But I'm not going to do that. I figure you're crazy with grief or whatever, so uh, this is just a warning. I'm not going to tell you don't do anything wrong. Because to tell you the truth, I would love to have you in my jail. It's good to see you, Jerry. Well, I guess I'm not going back to L.A. after all. You never did run from a fight. What are the chances of Bo's getting reelected, huh? Well, considering there's no one else running against him, I'd say they're pretty good. Yeah. How's the moonlight walk grab you, huh? Come on, let's go! Come on, let's move it, come on. Let's go, come on. What? Want me to check it out? Nah, never mind. Come on, just get the fuck out of here. Come on, let's go. 
Let's go, move it, people. Come on. Shaft that goes right under the border. I figure someone's recruited from the other side. Make it a nice small fee for safe illegal entry. But I don't think I'm the first to figure it out. I think my grandfather got suspicious. Went down, did some snooping around, and didn't come out alive. What is it? His hearing aid. Where are you going? We're going to want to see the coroner's report, right? I've got to file a subpoena. Why don't you just ask him to shred the report? What else am I supposed to do, Jerry? Nothing. Let me handle this. I'll get the coroner's report my way. Go get him, boy. You know what to do. Down here. Need some help. Hey, buddy, what's the problem here? I had something here and I forgot it, so I just kind of come by and uh, see if I can find it. I, I was just looking for it, you know. <clears throat> oh. Under arrest.
Suits you. What about my phone call? You already had your phone call. Well, you know damn well the line was dead. You know, when we were younger, you beat me on everything. Everything. And now I'm gonna go outside, take a walk. Do what I wanted to. You know, it's a freedom kind of thing. Something that uh, you're not gonna know anything about for a long time. See you at your name, Jerry. And I'll see you at yours. For a guy who just got sprung, you look pretty grim. You want grim? I'll show you grim. Oh, my God. I'm filing that subpoena first thing in the morning. With this new evidence, there's no way they can delay me. Well, since you're going to be staying, you're going to need a job. Come on, Natalie. I don't have any qualification for being sheriff. I mean, do you honestly think anybody'd vote for me? Everybody knows you here, though. <sighs> they know me from being a fighter or a hellraiser. I mean, I'm not exactly the perfect candidate now. <laughs> and Bose is. You get a point. Look, I'm not asking you to run. I'm just asking you to think about it. That's all. Well, I'll tell you. I'd rather think about something else. figure out what started it yet? It's still under investigation at this time. You know if anybody got hurt? As far as we know, no. It started in the middle of the night and we're pretty sure they got everybody out. So why don't you gentlemen move back, please? Well, looks like our case just went up in smoke. Not necessarily. 
I can still subpoena the coroner. If I can just get him on the stand... Well, you gotta find him first. Seems like he and his family just packed up and uh, hightailed it out of town last night. I put an APB out. So far, nothing. I can't figure it out. Great. It seems mighty suspicious. You know, I thought it over. I want to take Bo's on. Can you get me on the ballot? Consider it done. Good. I worked out the details for your campaign. The first thing we got to do is we got to come up with some funding so we can start the ball rolling. I could use the farmer's collateral and get some money from the bank. Well, once word gets out that you're running, the campaign donations will start pouring in. Doesn't bother you to take chances with other people's money? No. Not when I believe in something and know what I'm getting myself into. Like that water out there? Mm-hmm. I bet it's freezing. Yeah, I bet it is. But I'm going to dive in anyway. You're crazy. Care to join me? Nope. That's what you get for calling me a coward! <laughs> if you don't get in, I'm not calling you at all! Hurry up! I'm coming! I'm gonna kill you! I'm prepared to take all the risk for myself, but not for you. They're running scared, and you haven't even begun to fight. Remember when I told you how I kept disappointing my grandfather? Well, there was one way that I always earned his respect, and that's by not quitting on anything I set out to do. So if this is what you really want, I can't promise that I'll get elected. But I will promise that I'll put up one hell of a fight. So what happened? 
here? Snake bite. <laughs> Must have been one hell of a big snake. I didn't know we had pythons in Johnson County. Mind your own business. Maybe it just might be my business. <laughs> That's the guy who shot Natalie. Well, I guess you can't say I'm not doing my job, can you? Well, Bose, looks to me like you just covered your ass. I don't know what you're talking about. Here I am doing my best to uphold law and order and saving your ass to boot. I mean, Jerry, what more do you want? How about your badge for openers? special fire in my heart. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Pelt, but the fact is I don't get down here too often. I have to take my opportunities as they present themselves. Why is it that you get to bring your dogs into the restaurant and I have to leave mine at home? You boys like to take a drink at the bar. Uh, do you know me? Jerry, I mentioned Mr. Sharperson. He has business holdings here. What kind of business? Mining? Well, there's no mining in Johnson County. But, of course, you know that, Mr. Pelt. After all, you are running for office. Could you excuse me for a moment? Yeah. It's a good thing she left, actually. Um, saves you the trouble of asking her. <laughs> You're a very direct young man. I, I like that. You want direct? I'll give you direct. This whole county's making you rich. The whoring, the gambling. Not to mention the little travel agency in the Silver Mine. Well, people need these things. I provide them. But just like you may need certain things. Just like Bose needs things? Mr. Bose and I are friends. I'd hate to see him leave office. But it does seem likely. <laughs> I hope we can be friends too, Mr. Pelt. Well, you know... I'm not for sale. You know, I can be a very valuable friend, Mr. Pelt. I can also be a very formidable enemy. Think about it. You can probably guess what happened. I don't have to. Yes. Hey, folks, before we continue our regular programming, I've got something here I think you all should listen to. It's a recording of a candid conversation between Jerry Pelt, candidate for sheriff of Johnson County, 
and someone who you all know, Mr. Sidney Sharperson. So listen up, folks, because this is something that's going to knock your socks off. That's a good thing she left, actually. Saves you the trouble of asking her. <laughs> You're a very direct young man. I like that. You want direct? I'll give you direct. This whole county's making you rich. The whoring, the gambling. Not to mention the little travel agency in the silver mine. People need these things. I provide them. Just like you may need certain things. And just like Bose needs things, huh? Mr. Bose and I are friends. I'd hate to see him step out of office. But it looks likely. I hope you and I can be friends too, Mr. Bell. Well, you know, I'm not for sale. Suppose. He's over there. Thank you. He killed us! He's good as hell to gunk your head and pull the trigger in public. Who put the gun in his hand? Mr. Bowes and I are friends. Why don't you just take a knife, stab me? Right, the... Shut up! We can't dwell on the past. He's in and that's that. Try to fix the election now, I have the whole county against us. So we wait till after the election. When he tries to shut us down, we shut him down. Permanently. Hey! Word on the street, there's a new sheriff in town. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Come on in, man. Yeah, it's official. Sworn in and everything. So what do you think, man? How's it look? Hell, I had one of those once. But I had a cap gun and holster with mine. Well, I'll tell you what, buddy. I think I may have a replacement for you. Put it on. Oh, Come on. no. Come on, man. Put it on. Come on, Eddie. Put it on. Yeah? Yeah. Mm, okay. I'll be a son of a bitch. Looks like I'm gonna have to quit getting fucked up in public. Or I'll have to arrest myself. See, it's having a good effect on you already. Come on, deputy, we got work to do. Where are we going? To execute my first official act in office. to a lot of good people in this county that I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure this place gets back the way it used to be. And I intend to do that. But unfortunately, this is where I start. So everybody come on and collect your bets and get on out of here because as of right now, this place is officially closed. I swear, as deputy of Johnson County, 
Deputy of Johnson County. To uphold the law. To uphold the law. So help me God. So help me God. All right. Now the real work begins. <laughs> already picked up today's cargo, boys. They're back over the border. Needless to say, you're under arrest. Are you sure everybody's out of there? Clear. All right, at your fingers and let her rip. What if I told you we can arrange immunity? You testify against your boss, you walk away scot free. Keep him out of here. I'll say one thing for Bose. Whether it's loyalty or intimidation, nobody's talking. We still got the wounded one over at the hospital. Yeah, I'll stop by later tonight. Dr. Kane, you're wanted in the war. 
Dr. Kane, you're wanted in war. Excuse me, Doctor. Have you seen my deputy? No, I just came on duty. Hey, you guys, hold right there. I need to talk to him. Anyone caught taking part in any kind of illegal activities, I want them arrested. No exceptions. Questions? Good. We'll pull out of here at 10 o'clock tonight. for uh, five, sir. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Would you like to buy a bingo card? G60. G60. And then we have... I. Hey, it's I only a dollar. Two. Two. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to see that our entire police force is here to lend their support for our bingo night. Give them a big hand. <laughs> Pilar! 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 I need it tonight. Tomorrow, then. You better not be lying. Oh, well, look what the cat drug in. Where the hell you been out fucking around behind my back? No, 
Get up, I'm talking to you. Why didn't you leave a message or something? I tried to call you! You know what I... <laughs> I think you're playing both sides of the Fuck you. We're both in this shit over our head. You know where my loyalties lie. Yes, I do. Let's just cut to the chase. You want him dead, right? I don't want him dead. I need him dead. Charperson found out about the mine, and he is not a happy camper. And he's coming here tomorrow. And if Pelt's body is not in the morgue, then we ourselves are headed there, understand? <laughs> this is good. Are you going to take him out? <laughs> you bitch. Pilar, is he working with Bose? <laughs> Tell him. He has this terrible cocaine problem. He's gone through every scent that he has and every scent that I have, too. Bose is supplying him for free now. He's not a bad guy, really. It's just the drugs that make him crazy. Jerry, since you and Eddie are such good friends, can't you come with me, please, and talk to him? Please. Maybe you can finally convince him to get some help.
he's dead. So who's in charge now? The man who killed him. That's right. There's a new sheriff in town. Boz, you'll be running things as new deputy sheriff. My men will be as here to assist your officers. We pulled up and the house was on fire. Jerry jumped out and ran in, tried to save Pilar. We tried to follow, but the smoke and the flames were just so thick. It's the last I saw of either one of them. He died the way he lived, a hero. Now I got a big job ahead of me. I got to take over where Jerry left off. I'm going to have to do things my way. So I'm going to make a clean sweep of things. I'm going to let you all go. Hey, that's not fair. What kind of bullshit is this anyway? You're going to fire all of us, bring in Bozo and the clowns. Who made you share it? I did. You got a problem with that? What if I do? Ray? Monument just got back from Taylor's place. They found one body, and it definitely was not Pelts. Listen to me, incompetent idiots. I am personally taking charge here. We're going to search this place from top to bottom. I want Pelt found. When he's found, you're going to bring him back to me. There'll be a reward for the man that brings him in. Now spread out. <laughs> They'll never take Jerry like this. It's like a sly dog. You gotta bait him. Let's go. You'll be lucky to have a glass house when this is over. You'll be lucky to have a glass coffin. Come on. When I give an order, I expect it to be obeyed. Understood? Understood?
It looks like our friendship is finally over. Let her go, Eddie. She's got nothing to do with this. <sighs> Come on, man. You don't have to answer the bows anymore. This is strictly me and you. You've always gotten everything you ever fucking wanted. Your glorious fucking career. Why well, you left me here in this hellhole? You got the life you deserve. Shut up! 
Or I'll kill you like I did the judge. What are you talking about? He stuck his nose in the wrong place at the wrong time. That one was an accident. You've got something to prove? Then prove it. But do it without the gun. Oh, I forgot, Eddie. You've always been somewhat of a fucking coward. Someday I'd find 